Hello, this is Adrian and I'm going to be walking you through the product trade-in Shopify app. Um, we're going to go through the process of installing the application, um, setting up our easy post API keys to produce the shipping labels, and kind of doing a run through as to how the app exactly works and what its purpose is. So I'm going to start here over here in the app store listing for the app for the product trade-in. Um, you can see a description of what it does. Basically, the gist of it is it allows um, stores to accept trade-ins from customers. So for example, um, if I wanted to buy back iPhones, I can list the price that I'm willing to pay. The customer or visitor who comes onto the site would be able to select their variations. Um, it would generate an offer. The customer could then choose if they want to accept the offer or not. If they do accept the offer, um, it'll ask them for um, basically their uh, shipping information uh, so that a shipping label can be created. Um, no actual uh, checkout is happening. There's no payment processing or anything of that sort. Um, it's just a shipping label that's being generated. And then the store owner from there, um, once they receive the item, can uh, pay through PayPal or send out a check or whatever payment method the customer decided on in terms of how they would want to get paid. So let's start by just installing the app. I'm going to go ahead and click get. I'm going to log into my Shopify store here. Um, so it's going to say install let's go ahead and install that approve the charge you get a free 14 day trial trial and then it's 14.99 following so simple enough boom it takes us to our dashboard um, over here you're gonna see a nice simple easy to use dashboard um, it has all of our products listed this is where you're going to be choosing any of your products that's in your inventory and converting them over into trade-in products um, you can see your trade-in orders and then some of the settings you have to set up so let's go ahead and start with the settings itself so easy post settings easy post is a service which allows you to um, create shipping labels um, basically it's just an api so i'm going to make my way over to easy post here now i'm already logged in so all I have to do is click here into my account, go to my API keys, um, and we're going to go ahead and just copy this test key here. Okay, perfect. So let's go over here and fill out our information. I'm just going to say API integrations. Um, we're going to put in a customer service phone number. I'm just going to put in my cell phone for the time being. I'm going to put in my address. We're going to choose the default package size. Um, so I'm just going to say a flat, small flat rate box and the package weight. I'm just going to put two. Um, so basically, this is the information that the store inputs to generate the shipping labels. So since the product has to be shipped in, um, this is the address that the Easy Post will use for the label for where the item is being sent. So let's go ahead and save changes. So now we have all that. Now the next thing we need to do is go into all our products. Right now, if I go check into my actual products here um, within Shopify, you'll see I have one product, which is this iPhone 7. Um, so that's the same product that's showing up here. Now what I have gone and done is listed it as a trade-in product. So you can already see the check mark. So if I just go into the trade-in products tab, you can see it here. I can go ahead and actually remove it from trade in products as well. Um, clicking that. And then if I go into all products, you'll see that it is no longer in my trade in products, but it is in all my products. So let's go ahead and add it back as a trade in product. That's how simple it is to add a trade in product. So you would add your regular product here within your inventory directly within Shopify. And then you can go ahead and just click the checkbox add product in trade-in if we go into the trade-in products tab we should be able to see it here boom so now we th now that we have a listed product um, let's go ahead and visit our store let's see the front facing so if I just go to the front end of my store um, let's go into my catalog here's my products so now I'm a visitor I'm able to select this so now you'll notice that there's a get offer button um, once I select my carrier, the storage amount, and 
the condition, it will generate an offer based on those variations. Um, so now I could click get offer. And now it takes us to this form, which is not actually a checkout. It's just an information form. There's no actual order being placed or payment processing or any type of payment information being gathered. This is all just so the shipping label could be generated for the customer so, th so that they can trade in their product. Um, and this could be, of course, any product. It doesn't have to be cell phones. So any product that the store has in their inventory can also be a trade-in product. So let's go ahead and just really quickly generate a shipping label. So essentially the customer is going to put in their information. Um, in this case, I'm just going to match it up with what I have. Again, no payment being processed. So order notes, um, I'm just going to type in um, phone is in great condition. Now it asked me how I would like to get paid. Again, no actual payment is happening. So for example, if the customer wants to get paid by check, they can hit the checkbox. If not, they can hit the PayPal email address box and type in their email address. That way the store owner knows, oh, this customer would like to be paid by PayPal. And then that could be processed manually once the store receives the item and is able to verify all this, you know, condition and such. In this case, I'm just going to choose that I want to get paid by check. Go ahead and click get paid. Now the shipping label is going to be generated. Boom. So thank you. Thank you for your order. Please remember to ship the item as soon as possible to receive payment. Um, the store will receive an email in regards to the order along with the customer. Um, so now I can just go ahead and view image and I can print and I can go ahead and print this label if necessary. Well, you're going to want to print the label in order to ship in the product. So let's go back here into my stores back end. Let's take a look at my orders. And you'll see about 34 seconds ago, I had an order placed. Um, total price was $350 for the item. So let's go ahead and click that. Let's go into the orders. Now, once I receive the item um, and I go ahead and basically, um, you know, verify that the, the condition and the status of the item um, I could say the shipment was received, right? So now the item has been received. Um, I can go ahead and once I pay the customer manually, this again is outside of Shopify. No payment processing is happening directly within Shopify. There's no checkout. Um, there's no uh, direct method within Shopify to pay the PayPal. So I'd have to go into my PayPal account or write a check and send it out to the customer. I can go ahead and mark it as paid and voila. So. Payment status is paid, the item has been received, and that's that.